Here. And on my left, Mary O'Donovan. Mary O'Donovan to serve, love all, play. One love. Two love. Well, it's day two of the 2014 All Ireland Graded Open here at uh, Baldoyle Badminton T Centre. Con Murphy here. With Service you over. One, Tom two. Bone. And uh, yesterday we had grades B, C, and D play down to the finals and eventual winners. Today it's the grades E. F and G. This slightly lower grades, Thomas, but still just giving some of the uh, badminton that we've seen already. Three, today, one. Standard, not bad at all. <coughs> a lot of close games again. Service over. Two, three. On air here. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, a lot of close games here today. Um, a lot of tough matches. Three odds. Lots of 22 20s, you know, 23 21. I suffered from myself. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I wasn't going to bring it up so <laughs> early, but you were very unlucky yeah. to lose it. And um, three. But yeah, it's, so it's been a, it's been a good day, and yeah, the quality has been very good. Four, you three many players here that I suppose that have ambitions to try and win a title. Absolutely. Well, this uh, match on centre court, as we call court number five here in Baldoyle at the moment, is the Grady e Women's Semi Final. It's uh, Kinga. Dabrowska descend in the blue uh, shirt against More Mary O'Donovan. Mary O'Donovan from uh, Mullingar. Kinga Dabrowska representing on Cashlawn uh, Nua. And uh, over. that club in uh, Five, four. And Kinga has been in action already earlier on today in the mixed doubles event. And uh, was knocked out, in fact, uh, but has come through an earlier round in the women's singles, beating Catherine Dolphin 21-15, 21-10. Likewise, Six, Mary O'Donnell four. has come through in her quarterfinal against Michelle McCarthy, 21-14, 21-10. So both of them had reasonably uh, straightforward wins in their quarterfinals, but this might be a different Seven, four. Yeah, and what's probably will be interesting, obviously, is the Mary. Yeah. Eight, four. I've talked to some players earlier on and yeah, who were due up to play before the matches in the semis, and they're now beginning to Burn. Yeah, yeah, the legs are getting heavy. King has played a few games today, so whereas Mary should be ready. Nine, fresh. four. Probably only had to come in here maybe quite later on in the day. Maybe King could have been here for maybe nine, ten o'clock. So it's a long day, isn't it's it? And actually, it's interesting to note that King there uh, nearest the camera is wearing knee supports on both her left and uh, right knee. She ten, lead in four. the early stage of this match. Nine, four. So in fact, ten. Uh, ten is the uh, lead now in favour of Kinga Dabrowska, who is serving closest to camera. But uh, as you say, it's a long day for the players if they're involved 11, in four, mixed doubles, interval. perhaps women's doubles and uh, singles. There's a lot of matches over quite a concentrated period of time, but uh, certainly it doesn't seem to be troubling Kinga Dabrowska too much at the moment, 11-4 ahead. And up to speed in the venue more than Mary is, and uh, just as out of the blocks quicker, maybe. So you were saying earlier on as well that uh, Mary's sort of number one sport is tennis. So maybe badminton is a little bit further down the list of priorities for for her. Yeah, it's. it's I presume if we watch some of the next rallies and see if there's any bit of a tennis play. influence, but uh, yeah, but she obviously must have a good bit of passion to be here today to, in the sport to try and see maybe. We, we said yesterday we do get that lots of over players who five, do 11. both. You know, they play badminton maybe September to maybe March, April, and then maybe for the summer months they play tennis. So it's yep. not, not uncommon. Uh, speaking of uh, passion, there's a huge amount of passion. Six, so 11. These badminton players have been here over the weekend at the uh, graded open. A huge entry. In fact, a, a number of players have turned away because it was just... Too many players no, entered over the end, or at least they, they hit their limit. Over 340 uh, players, and a number of players, of course, playing in multiple events. So a huge amount of matches taking place. In fact, some of the uh, Grade F matches today have been moved to the Marino Institute of over Sport because seven, even with eight courts going hammer and <coughs> all day here at Baldoyle, they haven't been able to accommodate everybody today. No, and 
lovely venue down there. I've been down there myself. It's uh, where the high performance team uh, train uh, all the time and we have a nice setup down there. It's that was nicely over. out of the way. 13 Four seven. Courts, uh, perfect venue and um, I think things went very well there today. Um, but they've joined us now, the players who were who were successful today have come up here now to Baldoy in the semis. Fourteen seven. And hopefully for the finals for some. <laughs> Serve and fine smash from her. 15 7. She just looks like she has the measure of Mary at the moment. Yeah, she's like 15 7 up, so really coasting here at the moment. And I'm sure there, Mary, she was having a good look. And yeah, 16 wasn't 7. going to be in or out. That's a real sign up in the sense of feeling the pressure here when I'm starting to leave, hoping that a shuttle <laughs> might go out. It's worth noting that advertising hoarding at the end of the there is advertising at If you go to babbingtonarmy.com, uh, if you know anybody who's playing here over 17, the weekend, you'll be able to get all the results. The result, it's, it's a great service, in fact. Uh, the results are put up immediately. 17, seven. uh, it's a wonderful system. So, although there are matches happening left, right, and centre, the scores are, are being filled up on the website almost instantaneously. So, it's a, a great service. So, if you know of anybody who's playing here over the weekend and want to know how they got on, and they're not. Playing on seven. the featured court here on Babington TV. Well, then certainly on the babingtonarms.tv uh, website or .com website, uh, you'll be able to keep up to date with the scores. Nineteen seven. Very not disputing that at all. Just landed in. Nineteen seven up. Just two points short in the first game. Now make that one point. 20, game, game point seven. Kinga game point for her this uh, first game of this women's E grade semi final. Here at Mount Doyle at the Centre. Oh, that's, that's good enough. Oh, great finish. And a great way to finish the game, actually. Fantastic shot. Just came right around in from the backhand side and just smashed across court. Given Mary no chance at all. And it would have beaten many a player. Yeah, so I was uh, expecting a closer match between this two, but I was only really going on. Their earlier results in First the game uh, won by Kinga Dabrowska. Just on the evidence of what we've seven. seen, Thomas, it looks like Kinga Dabrowska has the measure of Mary O'Donovan here and could well be on her way into the final. Yeah, definitely. So just see Mary there, she's just trying to do maybe a little bit of a dance or a jig, just trying to get the legs moving. She obviously feels she's moving too slow around the court. Um, two coaches on now, but on one has obviously been a bit more serious than the other. The Cashland coaches. Cashland knew that Kinga belongs to. She's obviously having a few laps and a joke, but hopefully that doesn't mean she take the foot off the pedal as well. She has to stay focused. That's that's something we saw yesterday as well. In one or two of the matches <coughs> where somebody took the first game pretty comfortably, and then the second game, and it was either a much tighter or affair, or it went around the other, and the other player came back into it. So I suppose that is the key thing to keep the focus and uh, make sure you don't take the foot off the pedal. And some players just are slow to warm up. You know, they need that first game just to get up to speed. But 21-7 is a big gap to, to close in a sense of um, her performance. But she can get a few rallies in. That's, a, that's the other thing. That we haven't seen many long rallies in this game at all. It's been you know, three-shot rallies. And yeah. Yeah. So it's Second Mary game. O'Donovan from the car in hey. the uh, black shirt down this end of the court. Now camera side, I think at Dabrowski. At the far end, first point on the second game. One out. She just seems to find space there, King, as she can just see that maybe Mary's struggling to cover the court, and that's the thing in singles. It's a very lonely place out there. You have to do all the work yourself. <laughs> there's no switching off for the moment, or if you two, no. happen to lose your position, that there's a part to cover for you, and there's no escape. Nice shot there by Mary. Well, that's a little confidence booster for her 2-1 uh, then. Service over, 1-2. <coughs> see it on replay here. That was uh, Kinga's shot. Two all. Two all now. Game two. Three, two. 
four, two. It's a few points in a row now for Mary. The, it's the kind of thing that will just build up a little bit of confidence for her. Just hopefully she'll be a little bit lighter. A bit, get a bit more confident. Yeah, another. She's trying different shots Five, now. You can two. just see she's not earlier on. She was just doing it clear, clear. Now she's trying to make King the move and just keep her guessing. She obviously feels that King has worked out her initial tactics and is three, just trying to five. vary the play and just move Kinga about. <laughs> she's not That's too long. long. She's Six, making on three. force errors that she wasn't making in the uh, first game either. Yeah, and she doesn't need to be forcing it. She, you know, she just needs to, from Kinga's point of view, she just needs to keep it simple. Make Mary work for it. Very good shot though. Oh, but a great return there for King as well. That was over four she, six. She has that shot in her locker, doesn't she? Just the, the little bit of class. As you say, she's getting Mary to move around the court. That was over seven four. Eight four. Mary O'Donnell from the Jarl serve. Gave Kinga the opportunity. Eight. She's annoyed at herself that you can yeah. see that. Uh, she just put it on a plate for Kinga Dabrowska there, and Kinga didn't need to be asked twice. She smashed it away from the point. Yeah. Crucial here that the serve, the serve is the full length. You know that the serve is long enough to, uh, if it's anyway short, it's just going to make it too easy. Nine, five. But she's keeping the four point lead here. If she could get into the interval yeah. here at 11, with just a few point lead, that just make King a little bit nervous. Ten, five. Yeah, there's another cheap point. It's funny the way a game can swing one way and then the other. You can just see that King is making mistakes that she wasn't making in the first game. And at the same time, Mary is growing in confidence. That was a close call. Mary is not so sure, I don't think. 11 5 interval. Yeah, yeah. That's Thomas, okay. Thomas agreed that it's out. Yeah. The interval. Very experienced. Uh, Mary. And Tom McGrath. The interval, if you want. 11 5 interval, if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Tom just reminding him that they can have a break at 11. Yeah. Mary just asked, saying, having a word there with Kinga, but yeah, she's. The entitled to the break. She's entitled to the break, absolutely. And she, she feels just needs to towel down, regroup. She says uh, she's having a drink. Walks Left into the mind. Yeah. So she's in a good position now in the second game to bring it to the third. Now, interestingly, even though she has 11-5, yeah. some players might actually say, look, I'm on a run here. Let's stay going. Yeah. Like, if anything, Kinga should have been the person to come off and regroup. Break Mary's rhythm. Yeah. So <laughs> that was quite interesting. It's usually I would have expected the other way around, but obviously Mary said no. I like my break. I like to Eleven regroup. five play. She's a good lead here now. Eleven five. So just to see. Service over six eleven. That's two easy points for Kinga to seven eleven. Just bring it back to. A four point game. That was over. Well, seven. seven that was over. Eight, twelve.
didn't look like it in the first game. So <laughs> she's very hard on her set, Mary. She's 17. 11, 17. 11, 17. You know, uh, in her favor, and she's she's fighting for every point. So obviously, really wants to get bring this to a, a third game. Great shot, pinning Kinga right into the backhand corner. Well, 17. King's version of a no call. Well, I wasn't sure what it was. <laughs> <laughs> the arm in the air. Yeah. <laughs> Usually it often means I need a, a doctor or something. I've had an injury, but yeah. Oh, it's a good shot from King of Krofska there. And she's just edging her way back into this. 13, 17. And maybe a few little question marks in the back of Mary's mind. Very good shot, though. Very good cross court smash. Risky. It's over, it's over. 18, 13. It, dealt, but she was in trouble, but she just got a very good angle down. The angle was very steep just to make it that little bit more difficult. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the hand of apology is raised. 19, 13. Annette coming to Mary's rescue there. And, uh, that's it. Leaves her in a situation where she is 19-13 ahead here. Just two points away from taking this second game. That looked into me. 20, game point 13. So it's game point for Mary O'Donovan here. Having lost the first game, 21-7. She's now got a point here for 20-13. Service over, 14-20. Oh. <laughs> 14-20. Yeah, I think Tom Lads Rickton's blocking our view have been <laughs> moved along. <laughs> 15-20. So that's two game points just saved there by Kinga. Still got another five to save. Yep. So yeah, they're the, these are the easy ones. Oh. Oh. And a few shouts from the crowd there here. Said, Come on, Mary. So just trying to pump her on for this final game. 21 15, she's taken the uh, second game. So it's as the old sports cliche second goes. Second game won by Mary O'Donnell, 21 15. <laughs> One game all. Yeah, it's it's going to be an uh, interesting third set. It, it comes back to what we were saying, though. It is interesting, isn't it, that, that a player can win a first game 21 7. Seem to be absolutely dominant, yeah. and then it turns around, and we've seen that numerous times this yeah, weekend. Yeah, yeah it's, it's Kinga, what is should leave the court? Right? Try, it's trying to work yeah, out the yeah, mental. Is it mental? Is it, men, is it the other that, players yeah. improved? Okay, or? Not, don't worry. I'm um, sure Kinga scratching her head here and saying, What's after to happen? The fact know. that she's wearing the um, protection on both. Knees and, and we are involved in a situation where the players are playing a lot of games in a relatively short period of time. I wonder, is there a physical element to this that maybe yeah. she's feeling the strength? Yeah, I, I'm trying to know. I, I've seen Kinga play a lot. I'm, tr I'm trying yeah, to visualise in my head from seeing her before, does she wear strapping on? Yeah. Because there are players that we do see just, uh, wear, it all the time. just wear it all the time. It gives, it, yeah, it gives them, maybe they've had a previous injury and it just gives them that mental yeah, it has, does, I'm sure, restrict their movement some bit, but I've, players just adjust their game to deal with it. I don't think it would be a major difference, especially the left strapping. But yeah, the both, they both look to be temporary strapping, so I, I think they're... She might normally play with them, so I don't think it's a factor. Or you don't five, see her necessarily feeling it or at it or anything. Yeah, yeah, so... She's out in the court, though, raring to go again. Like it's, there's, there's no hanging around with Kinga Dabrowska here. She wants to get underway in this uh, third game, third and deciding game. She's in the blue shirt this end of the uh, court, of course, with the uh, Cashlon Nua symbol Final on the back of her shirt. Final Cashlon game. Nua actually, um, the club she plays for, nominated for play. Club of the Year last year at the National Badminton Awards. Didn't win, but were nominated. Yeah, they're a very good club. Um, they've well, no. made huge strides uh, developing the club there. Membership is quite, quite large. 
luck in leagues, they enter loads of teams. So yeah, they've really done a lot of Service work. Over. The club there. This is on. A very good committee there, really. Just yeah. you know, they've developed the club. And a good example to a lot of clubs. And, uh, not just in Dublin, but nation, nationwide. Service over. 2-1. had success yesterday as well and some of the other divisions. So, right. so they're always a club to be when you're drawn against them, you know you're going to be in for a tough game. That was one of the things I noticed yesterday as well, that there seemed to be a great nationwide spread. You know, a lot of players here from Ulster, Munster, that was over. Two uh, odd. Leinster based players as well. It is a very national event. It's great to see it. Yeah, it's great because like, obviously players are coming big distances. You know, I'm sure they're all busy in their own lives. You know, Three, I mean, two. Sort of so it's great to see them making the effort to come up with this event. And I think yesterday was quite good. I think they were quietly surprised, you know, that Hamilton Ireland just pushed the boat out just to run it as if it's an Irish Open. That was over. Make it feel a bit special for the players. Yeah, a couple of them that I spoke to yesterday actually made that point that they were saying they did, when they came in they were surprised at how professional the whole thing looked. The fact that it was streaming live on the web and so on. That was uh, over. Umpires, Four, three. Chair, all that kind of thing just adds to the sense of occasion. That was over. Four on. So we're four all in this uh, final game. It's, uh, that was over. Five, four. It's going to be a, a, a tense and tight final game. Hopefully it will be. We've had a lot of them, a lot of close matches. Six four grade, uh, relatively equal in uh, ability, and so a lot of close matches. That was a poor shot from Mary though into the net. You can see she was frustrated with herself. Just a bit of a tired shot, whether she is, but it just looked tired. Uh, King just, yeah, Kinga just had her six sevens in that rally, pushed Seven, her around the court. Four. So very well done. See Mary yeah, straight away five, seven. sensing that was going wide. Just a nice cheap point for Mary. She'd say thank Thomas, you. Thomas, would that be the difference between a player who's graded E and a player who's perhaps yeah, graded B or C? Eight, that five. Just, you'd see less of that kind of mistake on service and so on. That's yeah. It's, you know, you, the higher you go up, you get away with one of them or two of them. You know, whereas you might see maybe you might see four or five at the lower levels. And even there Nine, just five. that shot's just out. Yeah. You know, it's you're, you're pushing it too close to the tram lines, and you, you can even see that the yeah. higher division, yeah, five. the higher division players, they're more patient, probably, partly because they've got better defense. They don't have to try and win the rally so early, and maybe just at the lower divisions they try to win the rally too early. I think that Six, that's ten. kind of the difference. Combination of higher levels of more patience. Yeah. Very good defense. Uh, definitely during the um, some of the B semi-finals and the B Eleven finals over. yesterday, the rallies were 11-6, Interval, change Defense and maybe not pushing it quite so much. Looking for the killer shot every time. We've seen a lot of that, particularly in this last game. Now, a lot of um, shots that were just out. And maybe percentages might have been a better option. Yeah, certainly. So just here in the final game, the third game, they change ends. Um, some players sometimes have a preference for a particular ends, so change ends at 11, so it means nobody has any particular advantage. Kinga has um, an 11 points to 6 uh, lead, and it's just, it's the kind of lead that if she gets the next couple of points, it might just leave Mary with too much work to do, so she's established a, a healthy lead in this last game. Yeah, yeah I think the next two points absolutely crucial. 11-6. King wins the next two points. It's <laughs> Six. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> King will drop the shuttle there, but obviously, even though Tom said play, they were Mary was just requiring to the score. Good shot. It's in. Oh, it's on the line. Oh, it's on the line. Yeah. Tom has overruled King. I think King was saying it was out. But the line. The old arm the air routine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't think I saw the 29A bus passing by <laughs> yet that she was holding the arm out, but um, uh, nope. She'll have to bow to the umpire's greater <laughs> authority, if not knowledge. 
Yeah, and Tom is such an experienced umpire, so. You've been quite confident Seven's in over. Tom that he would well, get seven. That's pretty much right. That's a nice looking shot. Great yeah. shot from Mary. Service over. 8-12. Staying alive in this last game anyway. Yeah. 9-12. Interesting. Mary's getting on with it very quickly. She just maybe senses the small opportunity. Yeah, I think that's another one that she can just see Kinga making 12. a few errors. So look, yeah, yeah, giving her no chance to try and compose herself. Eleven, twelve. No, just one point in it. <laughs> it's a so quick yeah, turnaround, isn't it? From a situation where she was twelve, seven ahead. Now twelve, eleven. Mary got right back oh, into it. Seven's nice. over. <laughs> Thirteen, eleven. All the times. <laughs> that was not the time. Never a good time, but that was just not the time. Yeah, no chance. Yeah, just when Kinga was just. Thirteen, eleven. You know, under pressure, just to give her a cheap point. And another. 15-11. The, the kind of loose shot that Mary can't afford at this no. stage of the game. 15-11 down. Now. That's a good shot again. Players just need to keep the, the shot lean because when they are, they're winning. 12, 15. They must try and earn the point rather yeah. than uh, give the opponent. Now it's easier said than done. Sometimes you're under pressure. But they just need to try. Oh, look, yeah. <laughs> I can sense the frustration oh, yeah, in your voice. Yeah, there. it's kind of like oh. uh, having done the hard work to, to win the last point. That's a great shot. Yeah, I think Kinga might have thought it wasn't either going to go wide or in sixteen. Excellent. Yeah. Perfect. Well in. So the pendulum swings a little bit back towards Mary O'Donovan's direction yeah. and won the last two points, but it's still 16-14 in favour of King at the far end. It's a, yeah, and there's 15, another one. 16. It's interesting. It's like neither player wants to win. It's kind of as soon as one gets ahead, they hand the momentum back. And uh, The number of unforced errors, if we were to take it as a percentage, would be quite high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But that tells you what this means to these players. Seven's Have a look over. at this again with uh, Mary. She's so 17, frustrated 15. with herself. Angry. Yeah. <laughs> that, that racket wasn't aimed at the young player, I promise. Oh, oh wow. What a, what a shot. World what a class shot. shot. World class shot. From Crowd really appreciates that one. 16, 17. She's in deep, deep trouble. And, right, that's the only way I'm going to get myself out of this hole is a cross-court drop. Brilliant effort. Yeah. Into the back the over. Just the weak 18, the 16. Kinga rid it. Yeah. Small little fist in the air there. From 19, Kinga. She just 16. knew she pinned her in the back corner again. Almost identical to the previous earlier one. So. There's no stopping that smash. Almost again, a very similar, just didn't quite come off that time. Match point 16. Almost a carbon copy, but it means match point to Kinga Dabrowska. Again, there it is. Mary finds the net. Kinga Dabrowska goes forward to the final of the well Grady played. women's singles. Well well it was a closer run match than we might have expected after that uh, first game, the 21-7 <laughs> game. But yeah. uh, Mary gave her a, a, a good fight. Which just match won by Kinga Dobrowski. Yeah, 21-7, 15-21, 21-16. Um, I'm sure she's just glad that she uh, she won that game and uh, can move on to the final. It, the, 
the scores, all that matters at the end. So big smile on her face, and yeah. she's delighted to get into the final. But again, yeah. I mean, she's had a lot of games already today, given that she was involved in the mixed doubles. So she has a while now just to gather herself, I suppose, try and have a cup of tea or yeah, you know, an hour or so before the final. But it's a it's eat a something appropriate or whatever. Schedule, like that. Though, isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, very hard going. Very hard going. So, yeah. I know it's been a excellent. That was an excellent semi final. If she can just steady herself a little bit more, she, I think she is a good. She still has a very good chance to the final. Yeah, I think the point you made though about you know cutting down the unforced errors, just keep keep the shuttle in the court, make your opponent make the mistake. That seems to be one of the key elements at this level, sir. Definitely. Okay, Thomas. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.